I'm Max Balegde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little business. We did, and the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Oh. We're actually expecting someone pretty soon. We My are. watch isn't even working. <laughs> uh, so look forward to that, I guess. Hell yeah. Um, should we get right into it, George? Well, yeah, I was really wondering what the hell that link in the description is all about, personally. I know, I saw it, and then I was like, what is going on? I text you, and then you've learned all about it, haven't oh, you? Oh, yeah, I got a text through that said, the link in the description explains everything <gasps> about the very exciting... Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> the receptionist is just telling us that uh, the person's ready to come through yeah. now. Yeah, oh, God, maybe you should just sign up to the link in the description. Maybe you'll find out soon. What an awkward we'll time for that to happen. Yeah. Right, George, I think that they're here. They may well be. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, oh, here he is. Come on in. Come on in. Oh. It's off the TV, everyone. Woo! Woo! There you go. Live studio doing? is going wild. How are you? If you could oh. speak into the microphone, please. Thank you. This is yeah, a job just interview. Just that one there. Thank you. A yeah. job interview? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wait, you didn't know? What did you think this was? <gasps> I feel like they go on the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that he's suing the BBC? No, no yes. they didn't let him out. Yeah, no, because what? he's the guy who he's was still on lost the BBC. In the oh, I thought this was about. Uh, I, I think I saw a different one ages ago where he came on yes. and they were asking this man about scientific questions. Yes, and he <laughs> and he'd shown up for a job interview and he wasn't supposed to be there. So years later, he's now suing the BBC because he's really? claiming that they've reposted the video and got like views and money from it. So he wants some of that money. I respect How amazing it. Is that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Wow. Wow. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Here we are. How are you, Arthur? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm brilliant. We've finally got possibly the most requested guest. Oh, wow. our... yeah, I know. Yeah. Everybody always says. Yeah, I'm thanks, back guys. After a hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Um, um, but yeah, this is the useless hotline. <coughs> this will be a very strict job interview. As you can tell already, we're very professional. Right. Um, exactly. So I'll be prepared we've, we've to We've just got a, a series of questions that we're going to go through here. Oh dear. Just to make sure that you are the correct clientele for yeah. such a business. Uh, you, you seem a... Seem an intelligent yeah. man. Um, I wait. seem an intelligent man. <laughs> before before we do the questions, though, way. we do a we have a little bit of a ritual that we make our guests do on the useless hotline. We're basically Get off camera as well. Yeah, <laughs> you'll is be that doing that later. Stay yes, it is. Yeah. Um, if you could, but should we tell the people that? I feel like that's quite funny. Um, our producer asked Arthur to just tap on the microphone, and for whatever reason, just to test the audio. And for whatever reason, I had an intrusive thought to say, um, "And please, can you do that again with your cock?" I don't know why and i'm upset but it, happened. it didn't need to be said on camera <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah, as max we was saying we've got a little ritual <laughs> uh the the cupboard behind you uh it, it holds things that are ever so valuable in our workplace mm -hmm. um and we'd like you to fill our mugs with them oh bull semen wow yeah well, mm. you, you've got you got full reign there mm. to just right, so to go wild. One full mug of London's <laughs> London's, <laughs> London's the <dry> Queen's <laughs> gin. Uh, Fill us up. Oh God. Oh, oh I'll have hooch. I'll have hooch. <laughs> <laughs> that would be for me. So that sounded like a brand deal, didn't it? Tory way to say. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Is this hooch. the new brand? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, there's so much to choose from. They all look such good fun. Yeah, if you, if you could do it at <laughs> a, a, like a, a quicker sorry. rate, that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> pineapple. <gasps> bloody oh hell, my was God. that? Was that? Pineapple, cream. pineapple cream. I don't even know what that is. Oh. oh. <laughs> For the audio <laughs> listeners, he's just put um, a mysterious liquid into our drinks. Pineapple cream is um, what you've been oh. asking of Andrew. And isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Andrew, I've told you it tastes better. <laughs> Who can I give the pineapple to? To daddy. Here you go. <laughs> That's handy, that's also matches with my mug. <laughs> oh, how long has that been on oh, for? I think, I, that since, I think we've had that since the first episode. <laughs> we've had that for seven, <laughs> eight months. Oh my god. That's disgusting. That mixed with cream. Oh. Let's just keep it in there. Oh family. my god. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That, that brings us to the first question. Speaking <laughs> of keeping it in the family, yeah. uh, what was it oh, like growing up in Jersey? Very nice, actually, especially on a day like this. It's what, like 30 degrees outside? Yeah. This is the type of day oh. where if I was in Jersey, heading down to the beach, wet suit on, go for a little surf. Just because uh, Max ever... is, oh, we'll, get, we'll get on to go for a little surf, and any stories that come with that. 
What? I have no idea. Oh, you uh, can't <laughs> make me tell this story on the podcast, can you? <laughs> uh, just, just for those who aren't aware, that not this story. Uh, Max, I, I assume you had, you are very, you're not very well versed on Jersey. No, I say explain like, to Max. I, oh, so funny enough, I said this in one of our videos that I did with George recently, and I was like, I'm from Jersey, and everyone was like. Your accent's so not American. I, I wouldn't expect you to be from New Jersey. So New Jersey was named after my island. Not my island, I don't own it. What? Yet. Um, <laughs> but it's a, a small island off the north coast of France. Really? Are you yeah. French? Uh, it was for a time. <laughs> oh. Then the classic, the English invaded. Oh, what are we like? Yeah. Oh, God. Wait, so you're... Wait, are you from the UK well, then? Is that class is class is UK, oh. sort of. Yeah. Um, my family's from all over the place. Wow. Yeah. That's um, cool. But not originally Jersey, but... So you're an island gal. There's 0% tax there. <laughs> <laughs> island gal? I said, are you an island gal? Uh, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> what was that accent that you I don't just... know. I've heard, it, I've heard it on TikTok. I don't know. Um, an island really boy. cool. Yeah. I say, I'm sorry, oh. I really... Um, not looking forward to trying this. No, mm. me neither. Should we all try them together? Well, he's yes. just got Lucas. I've just got Lucas. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? Cheers. Cheers. Ugh. Yours, I'll pass on. But can I try yours? Because I fear it might be nice. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> <laughs> it of looks like milk. It's actually quite Ooh, good. It's creamy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't need that. <laughs> Clip that. Put that start <laughs> the edit. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That was very convincing. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a warm pina colada sort oh, of. That yeah, fucking horrible. With, with a bit of blended, <laughs> with a bit of blended ice then there, that would be delightful. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the way that you, you seemed like such a little like oh, mo- mum then. You're like, oh, Ooh, that's horrible. That. Oh no, thank you. Um, wow. Okay then. So, what are the main differences between the UK, uh, mainland UK, sorry, and Jersey? I have no idea. In terms of lifestyle? In terms of everything. Do you have a Sainsbury's? Beach- <laughs> no, uh, probably not. We really? Didn't really? We've got like one McDonald's. We didn't have a Subway when I left. Wow. We, didn't, we, we don't really have anything. There's not much to do. I think we're in the top <laughs> 10 places in the entire world for alcoholism. Yeah. Oh, there are some cool that? gangs. I think oh. there's like oh, different nationality mafias. Yeah. yeah. I some, thought, is it not a nice place? It is a nice place. If you stay out oh. of trouble, you're out of trouble. Oh. But <laughs> You had to learn that the hard way, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I did. You were off on the mean street. <laughs> Why do you think he's left? Yeah. Oh, God. Are you a wanted man I left that life oh, behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. As if. What the hell? Yeah. So, do your family still live there, then? Um, my family do, yeah. Ah. Pretty much my parents. and I'm, So, I'm one of nine siblings. What? And the youngest oh, four is as, as young as six. Wow. Oldest of the youngest four is 13. Oh, um, my God. So, they're all still at school there. Wow, so. that is such a cool like <laughs> fact about you. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, good for you. And uh, <laughs> back onto your your hobbies when you're out there. Mm, I think we can <laughs> skip over this part. <laughs> is this why you got me on the podcast now? <laughs> you had that thought, story. I thought, what a great story. Get on the podcast. <laughs> Does uh, Max have any? Do you, I have no idea. Max has no idea. idea. I need That's, to know. I completely forgot about it until we mentioned Jersey. Oh, this is the worst thing ever. You know. Right. Saying it, are you? No, I can't. Can oh, I? Come on. No, I can't. It's too. Why much. can he not? We can cut it if we. If yeah, you, you can cut it out if you're an test run it. So, oh, George, <laughs> I hate you. I'm imagining you can, the worst thing. You, 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 you're fully allowed to just not say it if you. I say say it and then we can cut I'll, it out because I'm imagining I'll, I'll, worse. I'll leave lots of details okay, out. But okay. essentially, <laughs> I was out one one stormy day in Jersey. In, in so out at sea on a surfboard oh in a wetsuit, cold. <laughs> yeah, and. Oh on the stormy god. days, the the waves are big. Oh right? my god! And these waves are pounding me. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? And I was like, What's you happening? know, when you were just a teenager and you just constantly get turned on. No. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> when you're on a, <laughs> when What's as a man you're on a surf, <laughs> lying front down, and the waves are. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying happening? to paddle out at sea with my body just going like that. On. It was forcing me to hump the surfboard. Did you ejaculate into the ocean on a surfboard? No! no! Not, at the, not at the time. No! Did you? So after ages of being, I finally got out back, ready to surf, and I was like, I'm so distracted. Oh, you know what? 
I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, right, right, so that's, that's question one ticked off of the list. <laughs> yeah, it's going oh my really god, well. This is a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> it's going really well, Arthur. Well. Don't worry. Oh no! Uh, well, that leads us on quite nicely. On <laughs> Jersey's very fun, even, <laughs> even when the weather's bad. Max is booking a flight. <laughs> Just <laughs> seas of ejaculate. <laughs> I did not say. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to. Uh, moving swiftly on with <laughs> part two. That leads oh. us on quite nicely to uh, why you left another job hmm. as you, as an assistant to a lawyer. I was not, oh, this grinds my gears, this. <laughs> <laughs> I was the lawyer. Well, I was a trainee lawyer. Nice. Mm, not really um, quite a lawyer then. <laughs> no, no, I was getting there. I was, I'd done my first six months out of the two years. But whilst I was at law school, I basically just started doing YouTube because I was like, oh, I want a bit of money. Mm. Whilst I'm at uni, it's flexible, you know, yeah. upside's high. And then by the, I started, <laughs> oh. by the time I started, by the time I started being a trainee lawyer, um, YouTube was paying enough to pay the bills. Oh, wow. And then I was like, I'd probably enjoy it more than being a lawyer. Although I did really enjoy working for a law firm and stuff. Did you ever do like a case? So I, 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 was, I wasn't- Did you ever do any parts of your I was, I was going for a solicitor rather than a barrister. So rather than being oh, in court, okay. I was just like typing up advice to people. Oh, right. But it was cool because I was doing it in biotech. So we were seeing a lot of, a lot of like medicine of the future, like years, yeah. potentially decades. Did you predict COVID? No, I remember when that. <laughs> <laughs> that's about shit, lawyer. We didn't find out about it. <laughs> that's about. That's so there funny. wasn't a company that were like guys. <laughs> POV Max Valenti trying to have an intellectual chat. <laughs> Well, you shit your job then, weren't yeah, you? Did you, commit, did you predict COVID? <laughs> yes or no? No, um, there, was, there wasn't a company going like, we've got this thing that we're about to release, <laughs> just as a heads up. I want to get legal cover. Right, and it popped that off. That, write that um, down. That's not very good, yeah. is it? Yeah, no, yeah sorry. Nice. That's a good that's little good. note that you've popped down there. Yeah. Um, and how, but yeah, no, it was fun. But how YouTube did you get funner. into your career of YouTube? Was it perhaps because you went to school with... A YouTuber? Oh, mm. yes. I went to school with Chris MD. Ah. And that was where I got the idea. Because I remember, like, we were really good friends. And then we were both about to go to uni. He was mm. going to go to Nottingham to do veterinary studies and be a vet. Oh. I was obviously going off to Durham to do law. Mm. And we were like, oh, you know. And then he was just like, I'm actually not going to go. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm going to do YouTube as a full-time job. Wow. And back then, it was at the time when, like, what there weren't that? YouTubers. Yeah, how long ago was that? 2014. I thought that you is... were going to say 20 years ago. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fuck! It's been a while. <laughs> 2014. Oh my God, that's yeah. still like so nearly we, we 10 years ago. School leavers and yeah, and I was just like, no one have really, the same way now that everyone knows about big YouTubers, yeah. big TikTokers, how much money they make. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking loaded. Click uh, the link in the description. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and yeah, we've like, started oh, a pyramid crazy. scheme. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, if, you too. If you want to become a YouTuber, <laughs> uh, and then just yeah, subscribe to us. Who will then I was subscribe like, YouTube? YouTube. Sounds good fun. And mm. then just I was like, Chris is making good money. I can make a funny video, and then just started making a couple of videos. And then wow. yeah, six months later, it was paying the bills. And I was six like, months is that hell? all it took? Yeah. Oh my god. I got really lucky. My first one, basically, there was this girl that I was kind of seeing mm. at uni. And she was just showing me these the clips of these. <laughs> <laughs> and they were making waves together. It was Poseidon's daughter. Um, and she just showed me these clips of these like very, very angry airline passengers that had shown up to their flight from the TV too show. Too late from the from the TV show. Yeah. And we watched a full episode together, and there was about three minutes of freakouts, of like forty-seven minutes of like men walking around going, so this is the terminal, this can be, and it was so dull. And I was like, how funny would it be if all of the free cuts from every episode was just compiled into like a 10, 12 minute thing, mm. did that, and I posted it to the public free cut subreddit. And the first video I ever did got like four or five mil views. Wow. And then from there, I just kept doing like part did two. Did AdSense and stuff like that exist then? Yeah. Oh, so you oh, so, would have so, got a lot so of money from started, that. It, it, it would have been a trouble. This was only for, three years ago yeah. when I started. It would have oh, been a trouble yeah. when uh, Chris was trying to do it full time if there was no such thing. <laughs> yeah. <in that>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing this full time. Are you sure, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you only started three years ago. Mm. I thought you meant you started back with him, but no, no. that makes no so sense. So I waited until the end of my, so I graduated oh. from uni <laughs> Did it and came to London, actually just up the road at BPP in Hoban oh. to do my like legal practice thing, which right. is the practical exam yeah. for a lawyer. And I was like, God, London's expensive. Mm. You know, pints at uni were like one pound 50. I came to yeah. London, they were like six quid. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> heck indeed. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, 
And so I was like, God, I need something else to fund it. Yeah, put that together and then it did well. That's and then amazing. Then Good going. for you. So <laughs> Arthur, your, your main channel, uh, you have a very different persona to that shown, well, evidently here. Who mm. is the real Arthur TV? Mm. They, is, is it actually shown on Arthur TV? Mm. Somewhat, yeah. I think that's more of my like analytical. I'm, see, I'm a massive overthinker. I'm very awkward because I think I overthink all of my social interactions. <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do exactly in this social situation. And then I panic. Um, <laughs> so when I've got like, frankly, you know, I've, I've known George for a long time. I met you, but you before. So I like, mm. feel fairly comfortable now meeting new people. It's so awkward. I feel like when I met you, I, d I, I felt like you were just really polite. I didn't think. Yeah, I awkward. think I was probably comfortable because I was with George. Yeah, maybe. That was yeah. okay. Yeah. And that effect on people. The whole group uh, yeah, was sort of, of talking, so I was like, yeah, oh, I can true. relax. And then but, we went, um, what about you, Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> and he went, uh, does anyone know where the bathroom is? <laughs> 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 oh, uh, that's cool. uh, so I, I basically was just like, I'll, I'll use that kind of overthinking mm. and apply it to reality TV. Mm. So now when I, so I started with the freakouts, and everyone was like, oh, that was quite a good observation. And I was like, I use these kind of skills to analyze. Were you speaking analyze. over the top of the freakouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I was doing that. commentary. It was just faceless. No. Right. Couldn't afford a camera at the time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and now a lot I of people a that are YouTubers, you, they often had like specific skills or something that can't really apl be applied to like proper jobs. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, and then- He literally was, he was a lawyer. Yeah, no, no but I meant, <laughs> no, I meant like you're overthinking and analyzing like social situations. And it makes sense now that you say that out loud. Like that actually really makes sense. It's mm. crazy. Sorry, like, can we address your fingers? I cut myself very. If I took it off, you would see that it's a deep cut. It's very. How painful. did you do that? I was trying to lift something in my house, and um, I couldn't lift it because I'm incredibly weak. And as I went to drop it, I cut it on the <laughs> to floor. To drop it? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of put it down. Well, I tried went, to lift it. Oh, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to lift it, realized that I couldn't, and then swiftly tried to throw it to the side so that I wouldn't trap my fingers underneath it. And instead, do you know like when you, you enter balling? a door? What are you, what are you talking about? Ah, it was just a really, it's quite complicated to explain. Do you know when you enter a door and they have like a bit of metal like stuff on the door frame at the bottom sometimes. Yeah. Like, like, like the, the trimming like a strip around the, of metal. the, the yeah. threshold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally my fingers went over that, like into it and like literally cut a huge chunk out of both of my fingers. You, <gasps> it was two days ago and it's still an it open makes wound. It seem like you need to go to see someone. Yeah, but but I know the way you've described yeah. it is actually how <laughs> it happened. <Yeah. laughs> no, I mean, I've got these plasters. <laughs> That'll do for now. Um, so but yeah, fight. yeah, very <laughs> I shouldn't have just said off. I got into a fight, shouldn't I? Yeah, oh well. Um, right, okay then, next question. How did you become friends with Chip? With Chip? Mm. So because the of when I started uh, doing YouTube, um, really early on, <coughs> uh, there was Chris and a few of the YouTube lot were going skiing. Mm. And Chris was like, oh, you're a YouTuber now, like you've gone full time with it. You qualify. You need to make, <laughs> he was like, you need to make some friends. Yeah. Um, so he was, like, he was like, come Please. along. He skipped the YouTuber part out. He just yeah. said, you need to make some friends. Because <laughs> uh, obviously he didn't really know anyone on the scene. And he was like, yeah, a few of us are going skiing or snowboarding, um, come along. Went on that trip and Chip was there. And a lot of them were skiing and it was, I think it was just me, Harry, Chip and Freezy that was snowboarding. Mm. So we obviously spent a lot of time together. The skiers bombed down the mountain. We go a bit slower, mm. did a few backflips on the route. You know how it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, just became mates with them out there. Oh, and, uh, I, I find you and Chip's friendship so <coughs> interesting because on paper, you are complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Not, yeah. Not that spectrum. You are just, <laughs> you are just complete too. opposite ends of the, like, you are just very different people. But then, like, Quite spending, yin and yang. spending time around you both, I'm like, you guys are just so similar as well. It's like, mm. it's like a really interesting one. Yeah. Because yeah, you're also, but... like, polite and come across as this lovely, like, innocent little man, and Chip is just <gasps> not that. <laughs> yeah, but he's very, like, loud and outspoken, whereas yeah. I, yeah. But then you'll both sit in your room and watch little space documentaries oh. together. Yeah, oh. that's true. Yeah, because we did that whilst we were in uh, <laughs> in Sri Lanka. Everyone went to bed and we just sat up watching a video <laughs> on Schrodinger's cat for half an hour. <laughs> Very interesting. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's that psychological experiment, isn't it? Am I wrong? Kind of, well, yeah, it's, and it, it's we're like, um, not psychological. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's, it's physics. Not I was thinking of um, Pavlov's dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> is he called Pavlov? I That's don't fucking know. That's an experiment of sorts. <laughs> <thought, so laughs> something there. But, wait, is it Schrodinger's cat? Schrodinger? Schrodinger? <laughs> Schrodinger. Um, isn't it when he puts the cat in the box and it dies? Yeah. But it's a thought experiment. Can you explain it to me, please? Oh, it's incredibly dull. It's to do with quantum physics. So the, the point is that <laughs> quantum particles ex- exist in a in a superposition where uh, oh, no, that's I don't cool. really know how to very super where essentially in in, in the box <laughs> yeah there's another little box with a canister of poison oh and because of the way quantum physics works yeah the, it's it's in, it's <laughs> It needs to get entangled with a smaller particle. I think you know what it's, that little um, uh is about. It's, not it's in how do I explain in a way that you would understand? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but because these like very small particles can exist in two states at the same time, oh. if you sort of there's like a chain of events Are where they American where states the, where you're from. No, nah, it's not the, quite the states. I mean, <laughs> but right. essentially, it's like. It, if you link the the small particle to mm. this box of poison, the poison has both been released and not released oh. so the cat has both died and not died oh. and it's only when you open the box that it entangles with reality ah. and actually you find out so it basically means that nothing's real until you see it until you see it but then this in this video is really interesting because it, it seems to suggest that the universe splits in two when you open because the cat is both dead and alive <gasps> the universe tears itself into two where one timeline you open it and the cat's alive one timeline you open it the cat's dead like avengers yeah, kind of. <laughs> and, Explain and then, this in Captain America terms. <laughs> and then there's loads of people that think that sort of like that's where deja vu and all this kind of oh. stuff comes in. So like the physics side is really interesting, but ah. then there's also the sort of mm. more speculative stuff. This is it's very crazy. interesting. But Arthur has like a whole, his head's like a library of just different experiments wow, that have gone on. that's so cool. Like, where, where you, is this what you're scrolling Reddit for? I don't know. I am such a science... I just love reading and learning more about science. I mean, Are you I'm, on, like, science TikTok? Yeah, yeah. definitely. No, his yeah. TikTok view page is polar opposite to yours. I is it? guarantee it. <laughs> it's literally just that. And obviously, the, TikTok loves controversy, doesn't it? Mm. So science isn't very controversial. Mm. And you then often get a lot of the scientists, like, interacting with religious people. And that's like oh, so that much of my tip. Yeah, that's ah, where the controversy the big comes beef. in. So you all of a sudden get roped into yeah. away from science and into like, oh. does God exist? At my high school, we had a teacher who was a chemistry and physics teacher and religious education teacher. So you'd literally go from mm. one period of him explaining the Big Bang and then next period he'd be telling you that Jesus made the world. I don't know if that's a direct quote from the Bible. but no, uh, Jesus <laughs> did make the world. That's the yeah. famous story. <laughs> <laughs> he went around that uh, tree there. Oh, Jesus, why didn't you just stop at the wine? <laughs> what are you making a world for? Uh, that's really cool. I though. rate that, though, because then, then they, he can sort of give both sides. Yeah. Whereas I, I think a lot of the, especially in America, you get a lot of the like mm. science teachers that go like, we'll skip over evolution today because yeah. it didn't happen. Yeah, you know? crazy. Yeah. Um, wild. Okay. Um, right, next question. <laughs> What is what is your favorite slash least favorite video that you've ever been in? Oh, ever been in? That's Surely least favorite question. has to spring straight to your mind. Not that I've got anything in mind. <laughs> Have you yeah, got I'm sure. In mind? What did I really, you know what? The, the recent one in terms of filming I, where I really suffered was the latest chip one where we went down the deepest, we went to the deepest hotel in the world which is in a mine in Wales, <gasps> in the middle of nowhere. What? And it's two Eiffel Towers high underneath Shut the ground. Off. And it took, it, took an, it took an hour to get down there. It actually took two, because Chip was very scared of all the abseiling and I'd be jumping sc- You had to abseil down. Yeah, there were parts. To a hotel. There were parts where we, ha- where we had an abseil line. It's called like an auto B line or something. And you basically are attached to this thing. Yeah. You look down, pitch black, because <gasps> there's no light down there, no natural light, no like actual lights and you have to jump off the edge of this little cliff into this dark abyss. And about 10 feet down, it kind of catches you and cradles you down. It's terrifying. Do you ever just think, why the fuck and have I, I chosen like, to do it, this to myself? It's one of those things where you hate them at the time, but then after, <laughs> kind of like with Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka there were lots yeah. of time where you were just like, this is so yeah. awful. But mm. then you're like, this is the kind of stuff I remember. Yeah, so lifetime for anyone that doesn't know, me and Arthur went uh, along with the burnt chip and Arthur Hill to mm. Sri Lanka to drive tuk-tuks for 10 days. Racing from one, one end of the country to the other. Yeah, it was, and there was really good fun. Some mental bits. I, I didn't realise that the mountain that we went up, like you also went up as well and obviously it was like horrible, but you went up a mountain beforehand and 
like the width of your tuk tuk was also the width of the road that they were driving on. And bear that is yeah. crazy. This is like Top Gear style. Yeah. If you slip, you dead. You it, it was a bit where what it was like listing, and I think if we didn't lean the other way, we would have just. Like, didn't you have like a a method that you did to keep the tuk tuk? Like they were planning on. Arthur was literally going, oh, uh, so you do this. So if it falls, I can jump out. I was dangling <gasps> my, cause on the front, in the front of the tuck tuck, you've got empty sides. So if it starts tipping off the cliff, you can jump out. But if you're in the back, there's like barriers. So I was like, had my legs over the edge of the barrier. Oh my so that God. if it started tipping, I could literally just You lot are wild. I once did a shoot and the <laughs> air conditioning broke and I contemplated like calling the first aid man because I was sweating too much and I was going to see Harry Styles right after it. Yeah, it was similar to that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a very stressful, stressful situation. I that don't know is how wild. you would cope in it. I wouldn't. Like oh, I'm, I'm the weakest human person. If like, I mean, you brought up evolution before. If if we didn't live in a world where like everything was cushy and perfect for us, I would have been dead. If I was really? a Victorian child. Did you say cushy? Cushy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think cushy? No, cushy like cushy. Cushiony, <laughs> like cushy, like nice and cushiony. Is that like to be one that everybody understands? Cushy. I think I might have just made it up. I think I, I got made... it in context. Thank I you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it does make cushy sense, <laughs> but I tried. Um, that's right. So that's. Would you say that that was your least favorite that you've been in in the moment? In the moment, that, moment, that was right. the one I suffered most, and probably the most fun was destroying KSI's car. We <gasps> did that with Freezy. We sort of like smashed it with hammers threw bowling balls at it really? from up above Whoa. spray painted it and we ended up blowing it up with a tank <gasps> um, <laughs> what the fuck is yeah, going on like, wait did he know that you were there, doing this there's just some no so what? at the end of the video after we had done it all for the final bit uh, Freezy got KSI to react to us blowing up so he was sort of reacting in real time as the video was unfolding what did he do was, was he good. not really mad he was quite mad yeah it was his like mini prime car so I don't think it, it was like his Lamborghini. Yeah. He was like Did they have to be like, right, I'll buy you a car after that? Like, I will get you a car? Probably not. No. What the fuck? I, don't don't know. These, I doubt KSI what, would, you know, on? 10 Did grand. He make the probably... car for KSI, though, in the first Maybe place. Maybe, actually. So I think that was why he I had think the right the to. Contingency where he could go, Fucking look, I gave yeah. you it, so I'm taking it away. Yeah. But Jesus the mad thing was just that some dude in Norwich has a massive farm and owns a tank. Did Wait, an actual tank? I believe tank. he yeah. could legally like drive to Tesco in. <clears throat> yeah, like, Ed, Eddie Hall's got one. Eddie Hall's got a tank that you can just mad. drive around the place. Guys, in. my mind is so blown right now. I just and don't Eddie know what's happening. The no congestion way. charge exempt, apparently. Well, they're stuck in traffic. They just roll over <laughs> everyone else's. Wait, so you actually like fired a missile from a tank at KSI's car? That's well, a sentence I never thought that I'd of. say. We loaded the shell. We didn't. Oh, but Behind someone else scene, shot it. it. Yeah, it was it was shot and very much blew up. Like it was went flying in the sky with flames and did flips. Is and this that legal? Kind of stuff. Is this allowed in <laughs> the apparently United so? Which is mental. Well, yeah. The fuck? Some dude out of Norwich who's like family hundreds of years ago were just like all of this land I'm claiming, and have still just held on to it. Like oh land as far days. as I can see. The fact that these people and the, yeah, he was just like I just bought this tank. It came on the market for half a mil, so I just decided to buy it. I was like. Some Whoa. people just say that is such a the fact that you were a lawyer and now you're blowing <laughs> know, up, you're blowing up to, yeah, I know. why did you choose this profile? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, oh my god, your life is like a GTA character, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the stuff actually, that was what, this weekend, that's why I've got a few weird red bumps on my body. If you clock them, I haven't got oh, I didn't, measles or mumps or I whatever. Did last okay. night, yes. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that wasn't me. Who have you been seeing, Arthur? <laughs> um. We did a, a paintballing game against members of the SAS who were phenomenal. Isn't, isn't that, a what is the SAS? Uh, the Special Armed Service. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a <laughs> Super <laughs> Army Soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> right, brilliant. They're, they're I'm, special I'm air familiar. service. But right. they're like the US Marines of like the oh Britain. Like they're the What, and you did paintball against paintball them? Paintball from Max Walsh Video. Yeah. Jesus oh fucking crazy. Christ. Oh, yeah, did you not? But I had an interview instead. <laughs> but <laughs> it is interview. crazy. Because <laughs> everyone <laughs> What do you mean? For a job. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cheating on you. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that is mad. But these days, like everyone's trying to one up each other on yeah. these video ideas. Yeah. And George actually said to me, What did you say with a with a with a he, he basically said that we're the <laughs> <laughs> people know I that turned they... to Arthur and, went, <laughs> <laughs> and then you and then you ejaculated on I a surfboard. You, I'm not good at so <laughs> when I have a slip up, you've got to let it slide. <laughs> there was so a time right. you want to say the quote. <laughs> <laughs> spat <laughs> chips on. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Mom. So we were in Ibiza, um, and we obviously after spending a lot of time with him. Mm. Um, 
just calling him up every time because it's funny because every time he goes I don't know what to do oh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he spat he was eating chips spat it all over his leg <laughs> Not I, all, I, I was speaking and a little yeah, bit came right, out okay, yeah, yeah. and I said something and he, go, he goes I'm a good man I do good things let me spit <laughs> chips on my knees <laughs> <laughs> been like a good hour of them pulling out all my social inadequacies <laughs> and I'd had enough I spat a small amount of chip in my leg and I was like boys I'm a good person I do good things let me spit chips on my legs oh my god <laughs> this is oh mental yeah. wow. okay. anyway, uh, wait what's, what's your favourite video that you've been in then yeah, probably the smashing up the car. Oh, wait, yeah, shit, you already answered it, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Feel free to make notes got, if you can't remember. Got, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. We've got thank a few you. questions, you know, on general. I'll just say uh, fit for the job. Um, when is it do you think you'll be hitting puberty? Oh, mm. Not cool, man. <laughs> 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 Over the last six months, I've been able to grow a beard. You know, I realised that. The first, the first videos we made, you were, like, clean shaven. Like, mm. no, yeah, I've only really recently your been able to grow a bit of... Yeah. I don't know why I'm pointing out the parts of your yeah. face that I'm talking Ooh. about. Ooh. <laughs> I think the long hair goes a bit better with a bit of stubble. Mm. Mm. Agree. N no, 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 nothing on you. <laughs> <laughs> your short hair looks nice. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, uh, Pubes, yeah. yes or no? Um, <laughs> they're coming along. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you supposed to water them again? <laughs> That's that plan. <laughs> um, and obviously, uh, we value our note-taking abilities here, you know, uh, in or indeed out of office hours. Mm. Um, so I was just wondering if there are any instances where you maybe have taken any notes uh, out of office time, perhaps early hours of the morning, you know, like maybe like a club or something that you could remember. <laughs> Something. I need context just, just, to just, this. Just a point. Just, yeah, so, so often perhaps. when I'm in social situations, <laughs> good friends of mine point out my social inadequacies. <laughs> uh, social inadequacies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what happened, but on, on in the Ibiza trip, I was very much contemplating how severe. This wasn't Ibiza. Man, this was... Uh, oh, Magaluf. Mallorca. We're Terrible. calling it Mallorca. We didn't go to yeah. Magaluf. I promise. Yeah, I'm accidentally sure. ended up in Magaluf. Yes, I'm aware. Um, and yeah, we had one. We had a really big night out. We obviously, had, you know, had had a good amount to drink. Couldn't remember much of the night before. <laughs> and I wake up, check my check my phone, notes app at two a.m. Have a note I wrote to <laughs> I wrote to myself that just said, "Am I autistic?" Question <laughs> <laughs> mark. <laughs> <laughs> None of us had any recollection. So he, I had he, no he, idea why it I wrote it. It was just a question he was asking oh himself, my genuinely. I was like, there, there must have just been some social situation I was in when I was steaming. <laughs> I finished and I was like, not my best. <laughs> <laughs> and I must have just gone like, I really need to find out. <laughs> so good. We were all in the, in the uh, same room the next day. And you're just like, guys, did I? Did you write something in my notes last night? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no. That and that's because I've, because obviously over the past few years, I've only really done scripted content. So mm. I've like, I've, I've been thinking about like other people's behavior and talking about it. So mm. I come across fairly normal on my main channel. Mm. Whereas on the React <laughs> stuff and like on podcasts and stuff, I think people can, you know, see, just tell that I'm, I, you know. I think you, you oh. give yourself a much harder yeah, time. Yeah, I've you. not never got the vibe like, oh, this but, is a socially no, inept person. I don't, I didn't really that bad. But the more I've done the React stuff, like I, the number of messages I get that go like, hey, like I have autism too, and all this it's kind of stuff. And I'm like, I've never <laughs> said I have it. It's because as a punchline, <laughs> people just keep going. Oh, Arthur, I, you can relate when I, something happens. Yeah, and, yeah. And th there was one really serious one. Like someone wrote me a really long paragraph one, just going <laughs> like. Hey, like I know your friends joke about you having autism, autism and stuff, and I've I've been watching loads of your podcast episodes, your action videos. Just want to confirm, I I'm re I have autism. You definitely have autism. <laughs> and like wrote out this long explanation. Oh my god! And I, I've, it's definitely got into my head much yeah. more over the last six months or a year, being like, you know, but that is wild. not in like a people do it though, and they don't realise that they may be putting something. Literally, somebody messaged me, and they were like. Like, I've gone through the same thing. I just want to say that I think it's so brave that despite your weight gain, you're still wearing the same clothes. No. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, um, oh, I think I might they, need to go up a size. That type of thing, they must know what they're doing. Dude, Surely, so, that's rude. You? That's yeah, I fucking hope that they do. Did you reply? Did I fuck? I said, yeah, you fat fuck. Shut up. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Yeah. Um, right. I think that's... Times. 
the end of our, our questions. I think well, you did got, very well. I've got, got a few little games here uh, just to let Max come to uh, oh God. Getting, getting the same knowledge that I am of you. I don't know, that's okay. not just his, expand his knowledge of you. There you go. Right. <clears throat> so I've made a game of real or fake Arthur TV channel. <laughs> So brilliant. So uh, th- those who don't know, Arthur has nine YouTube channels, is it? <laughs> is that how many I've got not know anymore? <laughs> I've lost count. It's either seven or nine. I've count- I'm classing it as nine. Um, so Christ. Max, you need to tell me whether you think this is a real or a fake Arthur TV channel. Okay. If you get some of these wrong, that's mental. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, start off nice and easy. Arthur TV films. Real. I'm afraid that's fake. Oh, mm. I thought it would be that you reacted to films or did film compilations. It would be good fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> also, let me write that down. down. <laughs> Arthur TV, true crime. Uh, fake. That's real. Is it? Zero for t- yeah, it's true. It's oh, true. okay. Brilliant. Right. Yeah. Did you solve any crimes or just Not comment solve on the solving any. of yeah, them? Just, yeah, just walk through. Brilliant. Should maybe try solving some. That might be a bit. That would be Arthur TV police and detectives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arthur PI, yeah. Oh. Private investigator. Oh, that's mm. good. There's another one. Before and Arthur. That's fake. What does that mean? It's fake. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> right. I was trying to think what that could possibly be. I was Arthur. picturing him like making over homes or something. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur behind the TV. Oh, I hope that this is real. I hope that this is real. I'm going to say real. It's fake. Oh. Oh. That would be a good one though. That would be, be good. good. BTS. Yeah. yeah. Arthur Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur TV Minecraft. Real. Why'd you that say that? Was that, was, that, was, that was Yeah, this needs to be got certain. Minecraft channel. <laughs> I was so certain then. Is it real? Yes. It's yes, see, yes. see, I knew yeah. it, I knew it. Arthur TV Gaming. Well if you've got surely you don't have a gaming one and a whole separate Minecraft one. <laughs> Please tell me you don't. I wanna say false. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, <laughs> wait I, <laughs> I understand maybe like starting a different YouTube series, but a whole different. <laughs> so, like maybe a playlist. It's because that one but... was really niche and it wasn't. It wasn't actually me playing Minecraft. It was doing that oh. like Minecraft parkour while oh. speaking about. What Minecraft, like doing commentary on Minecraft stuff. Oh, okay. So when Dream and Tommy in it and stuff were like popping off and like right. there was a lot of controversies. There was a week really tragic where my skin was just really bad oh. and I didn't want to go on camera. Oh. And I was like, what can I do this week? That's that just my voice. Then, just oh. Not, not <laughs> I thought the concealer helped. <laughs> um, Your mic's rather high up. <laughs> uh, so for that week, I was just like, you know, I'll just pump out a bunch of content on that wow. channel. Uh, and this will make you hmm. not laugh. How many how many views did it get? This will show yeah, you. Yeah, go on. Yeah, one of the videos got six million views. On and a couple Arthur over TV a mil Minecraft. On Arthur TV Minecraft. Wow. That really left the channel never to be seen. <laughs> really? Again. It's because the, the dream and the Tommy in it stuff, like, you know, <laughs> oh, they're, they're just they're not yeah. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. As if. So it was like very wow. quickly spiked in the middle of the yeah. week, died off, and then I was like, I'll leave it. Wow. Yeah, very rogue. <laughs> well, we just got just a couple more. Yeah. Fred and Arthur podcast. Who is, it? Who is Fred? I, wait, it's surely not that guy who's... Do you remember that guy with the really high-pitched noise? Hey, it's yeah, Fred. it's not him, is it? Oh, my it's, God, what? Wait, you had a podcast with Fred? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's true. Please be true. It's real. It's real? Who is Fred? It's not Fred. It's a, it's oh, a mate okay. from school. Oh, right. He does, okay, like, fitness okay. content. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. right. Is the podcast still going? No, we sort of, um, it was another sort of, it, it was probably the most boring podcast you'll ever watch. We just <laughs> How many episodes through, did you do? Six, like we did cycle. six or seven, but we were just, <clears throat> we basically did them on things that we thought were really interesting. Mm. Um, and then did loads of research and the, for the whole like hour and a half, it's basically just reeling off interesting facts. Oh. And so it's not very conversational. It's oh, not okay. easy listening. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting if you oh. love getting bombarded with facts <laughs> but for the vast majority of the no. <clears throat> do you know interesting podcast fact 99% of podcasts stop before they hit 10 episodes mm. I saw and that part recently part of that 99% is you yes <laughs> you are yet another time we're in the 1% <laughs> yay 
Look nice. at us, baby. Um, right, go on, next one. And finally, oh my god, Arthur and Fam vlogs. I fucking hope this is real. I'm gonna say yes. I hope that you and your your Jersey gang. How many siblings <laughs> have I got? Nine. Nice. Yes. Wait, oh my god, yeah, what a family channel that is. I know. You could have started yeah, it an empire. Off, didn't it? Do it any really of your well. other siblings do social media? Yeah, my little sister is actually really? I've got a sister two years below. <clears throat> Isn't that why you started the family channel? And she does well, he hasn't answered whether it's real. Oh well, yeah, like, is it yeah, real? It's want... real. I said Wait, real. It's, re it's real. Yeah. Hey! It's real. No, it's not real. What do you oh, mean what? it's real? <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought it was real. He does a family channel with people. <laughs> oh, it might be quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know. How's the gang? Any more crimes? But she in does. Jersey? Um, she actually had, had or has a podcast oh, uh, no. on sustainable clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no free promo. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Um, Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, Arthur. <laughs> Up next, we got another game. Uh, I've heard that people say they like your voice. Hmm. So I thought this is a, this is a little moment for you guys at home. Uh, these are 25 of the most satisfying words to listen to. Um, just read them. Yeah. Okay. I want to see if your voice is good or it's not. It's weird because it's very, it's it's a very marmite. It's it's it makes up the majority of the comments on my YouTube videos. Mm. But people are either like, oh, I like your voice, or I just get abused. Like, I, th you know, one of my friends from uni <laughs> watched my videos when I did just voiceover stuff. Didn't realize it was me. Like, didn't know them that. Really? Like, I met them a few times. They messaged one of my closer friends. Like, oh, watch this video. Like this this old lady like does commentary on this TV show. <laughs> <laughs> they, were like, they were like, you're fucking joking. That's literally Arthur. <laughs> and the intro I don't do with my face. So like the intro in like right. first, third, second, the number of people that will comment like, thought it was an old lady. Or like, I thought it was a, thought it was a girl doing the, this video. I was so surprised when that face popped up. Right, I'm ready, I'm ready. I don't know what the first word is. Ladies and gentlemen, so. this is Arthur Television saying words. I don't know how to pronounce any of these, so I apologise in advance. But uh, that's not one of them. Pecksniffian. Mm. What does that mean? Do you know I what want these you words to give mean? Me a Pecksniffian. <laughs> Tumescent. Ooh. Stage one. Stage Unctuous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god, I just rattle through these. <laughs> oh my god. Prestidigitation. Sesquipedialinistic. Mm. <laughs> ah, you Good got word. accused of that one time, didn't you? Discombobulated. Oh. A lot of tryhards use that. Yeah. Um, oh, genuflect. <gasps> oh, how did I you know what this one is. Oh, dear. I believe it's the when you bow before going to a church pew. Oh. Sounds like a, a superpower you'd choose. Yes. Genuflect. Yes, yes. Genuflect. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Ek, ek dis, what? Spento Patrono. Ectesiast, ectesiast, ecti, oh, I can't even <laughs> pronounce that one. These are so satisfying to listen to. So satisfying. Slatten, corpulent, pulchritudinous, oh. butthole. <laughs> Is that your list? <laughs> Did you slide that one in <laughs> there? <laughs> Did you not read that? On my life, on my life, just typed in 20, like, like most satisfying words to listen to and just copy and pasted the list. Okay, defenestrate, fuckity. <laughs> Mellifluous. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Good one. Mm. Pajiba. Ah. What did you call me? <laughs> Fremulon. Oh. Isn't that what they say at the end of... Fremulon. Yeah, uh, it is. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh. Yeah. Not a doctor. Yes. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. Get yeah, on. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry, were you about to address me? <laughs> Jugulate. Oh. Zamboni. Good word. Oh, Zamboni's good. I like what is yeah. Zamboni? Yeah. Like her ah, Zamboni. Sounds tasty, though. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Lilliputian. Ah, Ooh, just don't a little like one. He's a... Convection. Uh, ah. I'm not a big fan of convection. No. So. Supercilious. Oh, I like that. Oh, he was good in Harry Potter. Yeah. Humdinger. <gasps> oh, humdinger. humdinger. Yeah. That's, wow. one to, that's a good one to end. That that's a, a humdinger. One. That is a good one. Brilliant. Right. Well, there you go. Uh, right. We'll do these two and then we'll go on to top. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, okay, so you are... I'm not talking about cheese. <laughs> Ain't good fun. No. Uh, don't <laughs> worry. Yeah. <laughs> You are very well known for being. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you are well known for being a very nice person. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Not well, for those who don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that I'd use this opportunity to try and get you to say something horrible. Um, Fair because. 
<laughs> we're going to play. You even go said on. that nicely. And Fair away enough. you go. <laughs> 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 Say the top five most offensive words. No, I'm joking. Um, we're going to play a game of plead the fifth. If you're familiar, I'm going to ask you three questions and you can plead the fifth to only one of them. You won't know what's coming next. Right. So, are you ready? <laughs> God, I'm nervous. Where is this right. going? Dum, dum, dum. Can you give sound effects, please, George? Do, do, do. Oh, right, okay. God, he's good at that. Um, first question. Please rank the following people from most to least based on how much you like them. George Clark, Arthur Hill, I'm Alex, and Cam Kirkin. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can plead the fifth, but you will use up your plead the fifth for the next two questions. That's, you know what? That's a good line. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> Remember, you can plead the fifth, but you, you've you only got one oh, plead the fifth. This is really tough and it not is. nice. It is. A, I, think, a I, I think it's fairly easy-ish to divide... George and Arthur and Cam and Alex, just because I spend a lot more time with George mm -hmm. and Arthur. And you hate Cam the lives other up two. in, in um, <laughs> Newcastle. Geordie Town. <laughs> I was going to say he up in Geordieville. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I've probably, I've spent, a, I've known Alex for a while in a good few years. It's mm -hmm. nothing on their personalities, but I would say Cam, just because I know him the least would be bottom. But right. lovely boy. I boy, thought because you knew Alex, you would put him lower. I'm joking. <laughs> Not cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Alex has only ever been lovely to me. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, unless you know something I don't. Well, in, Alex, come has in. He been on the previous Alex is going to come in and beat the shit London. out of you right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, so can I confirm? So Cam at the bottom so far. Cam four and Alex third, but right. I, I would I would say that I can only base this on currently just how yes. much I feel like I yes, actually know course. them. Yeah. And George just, and Arthur, it's really that's being so being tough. Being <laughs> no. <laughs> That's, That's the so point. Dumb. I'm sorry. About this part, He's thought... such a nice person. I thought we need to make him say something horrible. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, now I'm going to get... I, I, would, I would just say I've probably just spent more time with George just because oh. we do a lot of video shoots together and we've spent a lot of... So you for know, that like... reason, Arthur first. <laughs> 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 so I say George and Arthur also has the same name as me, which is a bit Ah, uh, yeah. See, that's Born really twatty of him, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, not, not fair. Cool. Right, you've made it past so the first go. question. Yeah. Well, well done. done. And he has not pled the you fifth. Win a second the possibility question. to plead the fifth. <laughs> 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 right, next question. If one Sidemen member had to leave, who would you care the least about? <laughs> Why are you getting me to stitch up people that don't even know me that well? Because I'm just going like, this dick. <laughs> Remember that you can... Have they can... ever considered me to go on any sort of Simon thing? You know, <laughs> just a okay. reminder off, you can. Plead the fifth. Which one would I care least about? <laughs> But remember, there is one more extremely difficult question possibly coming up. Um, we could have bluffed you, though, and the last question could be easy. Mm. And then you'd have wasted no pleads <gasps> of the fifth. Oh. You'd have pleaded non-fithus. Ah. I, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I would probably say <laughs> if KSI left, mm. he's got so many other cool things going on in his life mm. that he'd be... He'd be very happy and content. So can I just, um, you know, clarify? So all the cool things that he has going on in his life, you don't care about any single one of them. So and you, therefore, if he left, the wait, what? Care. Wait, how are they twisting this? <laughs> so what you so if, he, if he left him. the side, man, yes. I wouldn't be like, no, I feel so bad for him. I'd be like, oh, you know, he's off to pursue. Right. Well, first, things. he destroys his car. Then he says, doesn't really care about wow. his life. We understand, Arthur, don't you? How much it? do you hate KSI on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> <laughs> is that the third question? No, it's not. Um, right, you have made it to the third question. Yeah. Well, well done. Oh, so I can just skip this. Lead, Lead the, the fifth. fifth. <laughs> right, so last I don't question. Have to answer this one. But finish, I fun. finish the following sentence. Blank is the most overrated YouTuber. We'll start the following sentence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blank is the, most, the worst YouTuber. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> Who would I say is an overrated YouTuber? Mm. The most. Oh, tough one. I don't, I weirdly don't watch much YouTube. Mm. Um, so I, I don't really have enough 
like I haven't really watched enough videos. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I just George yeah. is adequately rated two hundred k odd subs. That's about right. Yeah, it's sound, you deserve <laughs> that. You don't deserve anything above that. You wouldn't deserve <laughs> it. Yeah, nasty, <laughs> nah. but annoyingly true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you'll beat me to a mill easy. Maybe even half. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> enough <of the> <laughs> who's, who's overrated? Can't make it through the horrible questions who, without complimenting who, someone. Got half a mill first. <laughs> Arthur, no. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> I'm trying to think of any. I don't even fucking know any YouTubers. Who would I say is the most? Overrated? Yeah, who who would you guys say? Like? I think a lot of them would be LA based because they just seem to have like a culture where it's like, oh, we're watching this person now, are we? Okay, and then suddenly there's like somebody right. pops out of the ground out of nowhere I've never seen before in my life. You click on their videos, like why? Like, I don't mm. understand what the. There's no like production value. There's no like an idea. It's like. This is me going to Walmart. Walmart hall. Yeah. I bought a, a box of penicillin and an AK forty seven. <laughs> end of the end of the hall. Right. Oh, yeah. See you in the next video. Right. Don't talk about my YouTube videos like that, George. That's really rude. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I had a fun answer for this, and there was a Walmart yeah, I where I don't. actually would be like, genuinely, I think this person's really overrated, but <laughs> I genuinely can't well, think of any. Well, fair enough. Then that means that you Arthur get TV to Minecraft did not deserve <laughs> six million views. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> a stupid All video on the Arthur TV channels. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, well done, Arthur. You made it through. Plead the fifth. Yeah. And he did not, let it be noted, he, he did not plead the fifth he once. He pledged no fives. No, he didn't. Oh my God, my Facebook group that I made with that um, random woman who I've, basically, I- This is a story. Last December- you Didn't mention this for anyone. Didn't do it for a video, just his own enjoyment. Last December, um, I made a Facebook profile to go into, do you know, like in local towns when they have like the notice board, like Facebook groups, I infiltrated my towns where I'm from with a complete random profile that I made. Quite fun. And I know. And you had to wait for three months before you were actually allowed to post in it to like basically prove yourself. Crikey. So ever since then, I've been causing absolute mayhem for coming up to a year now. I need to make a video on that. What kind of stuff have you been doing? Oh my God, literally just like the stupidest shit. So like somebody, they write stuff in like, oh, be careful, it's a bit frosty today. And like my mum fell outside of Iceland when she was walking home. So I'll reply stuff like, oh God, like hope she's okay. Must have strong legs to walk all the way from Darwin to Iceland, lol. <laughs> like stupid shit like that. And I wrote, lol, um, joking, hope she's all right, all the best. And then <laughs> I signed- oh, so fairly nice. Not just oh, yeah. like, wear spikes next time, well, idiot. So, no, so some people have been getting a bit aggy with me. So I put on um, a post saying that I'd heard that the local Greg's was gonna close and that me and my family were absolutely distraught by this news. And somebody replied like, looks like you don't need to be eating any more pies like and then my profile's name because it's just this random woman and i replied to it and i was like i think you should be taking more um what did i say i was like i think you should focus more on your relationship with your children seeing as how based on your facebook profile it looks like you're going through a divorce oh, <laughs> my word. and, and then, did it look like they were going through a divorce? yes it, well it literally said like married and then do you know how they can update divorced they'd updated divorce like a couple months ago so i was Who like does you know that? What? i know i was like why are you updating my yeah, facebook, updates my facebook status crazy. Crazy. Um, facebook is a weird place it is these and days. i'm having the most fun look at my person's profile picture <laughs> oh my is that an ai generated lady no it, it's literally someone's um uh what's it called when you get arrested mugshot that's an actual you've taken yes, that, that an is actual insane. person how funny it's so stupid and oh then like God. my my header is just um the local like pound shop fantastic it's so fucking funny um right to do, we? yeah we do um so arthur congratulations you've made it through the interview round Yay. Yeah. thank well you done. thanks for everyone for recommending me yes All we had to do was just insult many many people yes um so what we do here at the useless I hope hotline people don't take these too seriously i hope they do um what we do <laughs> <laughs> what we do here at well, the useless hotline advice. yeah we offer people advice because as you've just seen we have so many cretins that watch and listen to our podcast <laughs> that we need to basically guide them through life because clearly they're struggling um so we have Flat people <gasps> I thought you were going to say I had a bug on me. Your, your hair style today where it's just... <laughs> yeah, George, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's like someone's taking some sort of... Yep. It's nice, I like it. No, it's not. Keep it up, good work. Thank you. Um, we basically... <laughs> <laughs> people write in, people call in, and we offer them advice. Nice. So, what the hell is got right? Take a picture, let me see what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Oh, what is, what is it, that? Why is it just? <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a terrible haircut. Why is it? That's so weird. That, that looks fallen. like a, from those articles of like, don't let your babies yeah. sleep on yeah. their back. Get, 
Have I got fetal alcohol syndrome? That's oh. not that, is it? No. No. Oh, Arthur, can you hear the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it, is it, am I supposed to play along or? Yes, yes you are. Okay, Stop just... putting me in awkward social situations. <laughs> yeah. Could you please just put it on speaker? Just put it on speaker. Oh, it's fine. Oh, just I'm put just it, gonna put you on speaker. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was really good. Yep. Just press it and then pop the phone back down and then it'll play out loud. That was really it's good. Not... No, you did well. Yeah, Shush. Buddy. What? <laughs> it's not plugged in. Oh, I didn't realise that. Can you hear? Sorry, us? I'm using an accent as oh. to not. Hold on. Hold on a sec. But, right. Hold so on. Can you hear us? <laughs> Wait, start again. We were in the concert. 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 We were in the so I'm using an accent as to not be identified. But You're trying to help the lady you so advise her. Me and my girlfriend, we were in the conservatory and we look up to check if anyone's there and there's not anyone there. Wait, so start, start again, up, sorry. Like, <laughs> up, doing our thing, there's hands on necks. It's getting quite serious. And we look back up and her mother's out there. No, actually, sorry, the, that wasn't um, it. It wasn't because actually start again. I, I don't know what's going on. Because I think... Mate, oh my god, I'm having the best time. I think that you think that this person is actually on the phone, but it's a voice note that they've sent in. Oh, because we, we missed the call. <laughs> <laughs> they've, left a, they've left a voice message. No. We keep, what we do is we get people just sending voice notes to our Instagram, and then we just play them right. and pretend that it's a phone call. You are the only right. guest ever to repeatedly go, oh, please, can you just start again? Oh, sorry, please, can you just start it's again? Because I couldn't hear what they were saying. You were just laughing. <laughs> it's had the quiet mumbling. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, that was okay. so brilliant. <laughs> right, everybody, are we ready? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that. you can start. So I'm using an accent as to not be identified. But right, so basically, me and my girlfriend, we were in the Lesbian. conservatory and yes. we look up to check if anyone's there and there's not anyone yeah, there. We so we start <laughs> like now we start doing our thing, there's hands on necks. It's getting mm -hmm. quite serious. And we look back up and her mother's out there. Oh. Her um, middle class mother is out there. <laughs> and middle quite simply just family, walks past the window, hard, the probably. floor to ceiling window and goes back in. Now we're stressing at this point, but we think it's okay. She probably didn't see. Her dad pulls her aside and goes, you guys need to be more discreet. So oh. I'm quite panicked now. This isn't the first thing that's happened. I've accidentally hit her mother's boob as well. So I really need you guys to tell me how to redeem myself. I really appreciate it. Hit the other boob to even them out. <laughs> She's like... Right. Has anybody ever been caught in like a, a kissing or anything situation? <clears throat> Never been in a lesbian situation. Have you not? No. Really? That shocks me. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really get the idea that someone who's old enough to be an, a parent is gonna care that, do you know mm. when you're younger and you're like, oh my God, if they ever found out that I did this yeah. or did this with someone or caught me, it'd be the most embarrassing thing mm. ever. And then a few years later, like you do it a few times and you're like, yeah. oh, it's like, yeah. Cares? By the time you're an adult and you're married and have kids, mm. um, surely they're just gonna be like, like sex your, is sex, of course. Child, though, of course my adult, like, that sounds like an adult, they're gonna like, my adult child is having sex. Like, yeah, yes, true. It's, you don't wanna catch them, but they're not gonna be like, the mom's not gonna be sitting there at night going like, I can't believe they're having sex. Yeah, true. You know, I think like, it's more the fact they've seen it and they, yeah, don't want to yeah. Seen it. maybe just a quick like, yeah, sorry, like we probably shouldn't have done that, knowing that you were walking the grounds. Yeah, could have found <laughs> us. <on the grounds. laughs> sorry, Professor, we got a goal. Um, <laughs> we shouldn't have done it. I mean, conservatory, like you know, bad enough leaving the window open, but being in a room that is a window. Yeah, kind yeah, of a bit conservatory of a is a bad move. With family yeah, walking weird. around. Yeah, it's like you're don't in a display box. In glass houses. Yeah, I think the mum was a bit like you know, like come on, like don't mm. make it like so that I have to catch you yeah, basically. I think I this just like, made me think of an awful sorry. story. Sorry. Um, because you said like the conservatory being well, like glass fiction walls. Fiction. fiction that happened to me in my life. Did I ever tell you? I think I've so told you this story. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fiction or non-fiction? Fiction that happened in my life. Um, For fuck's sake. Yeah, I just made it up, but uh, no. <laughs> this reminds me of a story. No, have I not told you that time when me and my ex-boyfriend went to a gay sauna yeah. and we didn't realise that They have was... saunas for gay people. So we were visiting London. <laughs> yeah, we were visiting London and we wanted to go for like 
like a, a steam room or like a swimming pool like situation or something and then we saw this thing about like gay saunas and we'd heard the thing and we we're like does that just mean it's like a gay friendly sauna like they won't judge us if we like hold hands or something so then we go to no, it not my sauna yeah <laughs> we go to it and it was off it's literally just off oxford street like behind the boots like in broad daylight like literally right there and um we go in and they're like oh you two how old are you and i think i would have been like 19 at the time he was like 23 <laughs> And um, they gave us a discount for being under the age of 25 because, mm. like, they said barely anybody mm. here comes that's that, like, that young. And we're like, oh, okay, that's a bit weird. But, like, maybe there's just going to be, like, lots of really nice old men walking around that are like, mm. hi, yeah. like, or whatever. Go in. So turns out they make you get stuff? fully naked, completely naked. Where is this place? Only, <laughs> <laughs> they only give you a hand towel to put around your entire body. We, at this point... Oh, hell, you need a whole sheet of tarpaulin. <laughs> <laughs> a quilt. Um, we, we, uh, <laughs> we um at this point we started to catch on like this is obviously a weird place but we were so intrigued and we'd been out for like afternoon tea or something so we'd had a few drinks and we were like um crazy what, and um, cups of tea <laughs> no we had like prosecco Ooh. um and we started to catch on that oh this is a bit of an interesting place but like we'll like keep going we ended up um getting there it was literally people like having sex all around like, in the sauna in like saunas this sauna had like mazes and like it was wild we literally had to go to this area where like it was literally like no sex allowed sat on a sunbed because we had to like be like what the fuck is going on we had to like debrief because we had to walk through this weird sex maze you'd already debriefed yeah we had <laughs> um nice and uh, that was very good, thank you. Um, and Got then we joke that was too late. So yeah. The and then we're like, thing. "What the fuck is going on? Like, this is crazy." <clears throat> and then we're like, "Oh, should we just like they have like private rooms?" And we're like, "Oh, should we just like see like we're feeling a bit adventurous?" We go to this like it had frosted glass all around it, and um, we we like go into this room, the door shut and everything. We start like getting with each other, and then underneath like the cubicle door do you know how sometimes they're like it's quite slightly high and you could like see someone's feet underneath it i look and there is someone's feet directly facing in like through our door into our room just like there so they're facing the door but i'm like why are they just there? so i'm like please can you go away like this is really weird i was like we're naked like this is weird i'm not enjoying this and i just hear him go like <laughs> like laugh <laughs> So I'm like, what the fuck? I saw it obviously like getting angry. And then my boyfriend at the time is like, just calm down, like just ignore him. He can't see us. Like we're literally in like a, a sealed like cubicle. We're literally like. in a glass room. He can't see us. Yeah, <laughs> but it was frosted glass. So like you couldn't see anything. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? Two seconds later, he's still there. So I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? As I go, I look up and there's mirrors on the ceiling. His eyes are just there like a slit. And it turns out we were in a display room that is meant for other people to come and observe you. <laughs> people were all around the room that we were in. No! Watching <laughs> us. Watching us. I have never been more, number one, <laughs> terrified, oh confused. I just see all these eyes all around us watching us. My little winky shrivels right up. <laughs> Goes into hiding. Yeah. And we just ran out. And oh, it was terrifying. That's mad. It was. Was this one, recent? So like, one no, of this was like you? this was like five years ago. Oh, okay. It was terrifying. Oh, um, but yeah, I, that that conservatory story made me think of that somehow. Yeah. Jesus. Wild that kind of reminds me of one as well. Like so, a <laughs> oh, couple of years ago, I was in the sea. Wait, you were there? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was the watching this guy look yeah. a bit like you, but younger, <laughs> just going to town on About his boyfriend. Four or five <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, I so when I. A couple of years ago, I went on a. Me and my mate took these two girls on a date in London. We, ha we came around to my house, like had a few drinks, and we were like, "Where should we go tonight? Like, what's a club that's like something a bit different, something a bit fun?" And um, we end up like finding this place called Aquarium. Have you ever heard of it? No. And it's well. a club in London that's got like a pool, a hot tub, and oh. and we were like, we were like drunk. We were like let's go to this it sounds yeah, such sounds fun so like cool. it would be one of those like you know like uh college parties in america yeah. like you know just everyone going around <laughs> like you know you could just imagine like 
guys in their trunks and girls in bikinis mm. like everyone's having a good time and yeah. Yeah. Language. <laughs> so we so we rock up we've got obviously brought these two guys like being like this is going to be the coolest night ever they're mm. going to think this is so sick and we get into the club and we're like there's no queue for this which is bizarre and we open the door very dark and dingy just one man in a hot tub <laughs> just staring at us completely empty other than that oh. and we're like oh we're here now and we had paid to get in so we start taking off our clothes and the guys were like we feel a bit uncomfortable and we're yeah. like let's just leave but it's the same kind of thing you're saying like <laughs> oh, yeah. it's cheaper for the younger people it's like they sell it as if it's yeah. like this cool thing for like well, everyone to go and it looks like just a, a nice i thought we were just gonna go swimming yeah <laughs> no, like a cool pool party this yeah. place like i did not expect a literal like Imagine what a steam room's like. Usually it's just like a square, isn't it? That you all mm -hmm. sit in with like benches. This was a steam room, so you can barely see, but a maze. So you had to like walk through it and it had like different corridors and different things. In one of like the things, there was just a person that can only be described as a giant lump. Just literally on the floor with arrows drawn name. on them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drawn on them, like basically like, come on and shag me. Like, I'm just gonna sit here. I've got arrows drawn all over my body pointing towards my anus. <laughs> that is crazy. I know it was oh terrifying. And this that was, that was the real maze trying to find his ex. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out. That's that and we bumped into that person when we were leaving trying to escape and we were lost and we were like, oh Jabba the Hole. Like Are there like street versions of these, do you think? Like that will just exist mean? that we don't we know about. Them? Oh no, they're everywhere. This one is literally like on um, Oxford Street, like literally just off, like yeah, the but side. for only gay people, right? Yes, for G only gay people. Gay oh, sorry, people. I thought you said street version. Oh no, street, no, <laughs> like street. <laughs> I was like, cool this is on a street. Yeah, and then you're like, they're everywhere. Yeah, what? right. Uh, probably, yeah, there will be definitely. Bizarre. Crazy times. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> remember that one. <laughs> right. Um, oh, I've just had an email come in. Did we even give that person advice? No. Yeah, no, we didn't. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, she won't care that much. No. but apologise for being so. Yeah, you know, maybe. Yeah, right. I'll get over it. Right. Well, should, do you want to read this to oh, really sure. test your um, skills at the useless hotline? Max is giving that over because he himself can't. Read. Yeah, I'm really bad Dear at reading. Dear Max and George, <gasps> and potential and guests, Arthur. Yes. <laughs> One have a dilemma. Oh, I. I People are very bad at typing. That's weird. Yeah. I have a dilemma. <laughs> I've been seeing this guy and I've come out to him as a bisexual. Oh. And I mentioned I'd love to have a threesome with him and another girl. Oh. As we have been experiencing and experimenting with a lot of things sexually. So mm. naturally, sex toys and lingerie come into the picture. Over the time, I've, re I've ordered the following. A rampant rabbit. <laughs> a wand. Oh. Two butt plugs. One tailed. <laughs> What's the point in a butt plug? I feel like I'm in Olive I, I, I feel like it's it. finally time for me to ask. What the fuck is the point in this a butt plug? This is the safe place. Why does he need it. plugging? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't have an answer to that question. Well, Fair you enough. Need the answer because that's the only one you use. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got. I'm plugged right now, but I have no idea why. I'm not. Oh my god, that was a joke. <laughs> That was a joke. Why did you both look like that could be true? <laughs> no, that's like you know, <laughs> each to their own. If you want to plug your anus, just tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> that's the title of the episode. We're going to type it in on Google. What yeah. is the point in butt plugs? Because surely you're plugging up the fun if you're a gay man. Yeah. You're plugging up. <laughs> I could add on the end if you're a gay man. <laughs> oh, because women can have them too. Yeah. Yeah. What is the and non-binary people. Ah, there we go. And animals. Mm. <laughs> uh, is that your impression of an animal? No. That, yeah. <laughs> That's what my dog did when I tried to... <laughs> when I'm just... Sorry, Baxter. I'm trying to figure out the purpose of the butt plug. <laughs> go on, what's it say? It says... Um, a blood... Blood? Uh, what's the point? Pleasure, for starters. Your anus is chock full of sensitive nerve endings that feel fant... Ass tick. Mm. When stimulated, your butthole is also the very satisfying word to say that. Your butthole is also the gateway to the prostate, also known as the male G spot, and roundabout to the vaginal A spot and G spot. So I've heard of an A spot. It's, ju it's just a access from the other side. To yeah. The earth, hit the spot. Oh, well, now you know. Do you feel better now? And a double ended dildo. Kind of <laughs> 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 to experience with another girl and stockings. Oh, okay. So this is going Christmas. to be a woman oh, seeing a yes. guy who's come out as bi and saying, I want to bring a guy yes. into it. 
can't imagine he'll okay mm. he's been around mine many times for some fun so safe to say oh to stay safe we use condom <laughs> <laughs> we use just condom just the same one every time <laughs> <laughs> I still out. <laughs> oh, I don't know where this is going I still live at home with my parents oh. and obviously I put the boxes for my sex toys laundry and condoms in the bin but I tactically wait until the bin is nearly full to dispose of them and push the boxes down to the bottom of the bin bags and then tie the bag Clever. Oh. A couple of weeks later, after I bin the boxes of my one and butt plug and double ended dildo, <laughs> I didn't need to list them all again. <laughs> Such a funny sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the boxes, we know it. <laughs> <laughs> my dad tells me that he goes through the bin bags and sorts it out from the recycling from rubbish. So, right, he goes through, if he had done it once, fair enough. If you, if you go through it once as a parent and then you find the sex toys, yeah. surely you should be like, well, I'm not going to do this again because it's yeah. an invasion of privacy. Not cool, Dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> so he's obviously seen them. I feel mortified knowing that my dad knows that I've got sex toys. Oh, nine. Oh, are they German? They're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> my father. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that could mean. But anyway, should I leave it and not mention it or should I confront the awkward situation? Oh, that is such an awkward situation. And... Well, I, if, if unless he can, says anything, you can't. You can't just go, Dad. When you were looking through the yeah. bin, did you see any? Did yeah. you see my wand, my double-ended yeah. dildo? Yeah. <laughs> what is a wand? Wait, first of all, what is a rampant rabbit? What is a wand? Let's do some research. So this is oh. <laughs> so the the rabbit, I think, oh, is the one that yeah, think, it all comes it out. It I all think comes wasn't out. Necessary there was it, Arthur. <laughs> Go on, what is it? I think it's one that, that goes inside a woman, but then also has stimulants outside. Like oh, that one that's things. like shapes like that. Yeah, the little two bunny ears. Didn't need right. to rotate. The wand, I think, is the oh, big is that thing that looks like ears? the massage toy, like a big microphone. Oh, yeah, that like big giant one. No ones, yeah. Ah. My boy knows his sex toys. <laughs> I saw there was a really cool... But, cool. but weirdly doesn't know the use of a butt plug. There was, there was a, <laughs> an, a classic 90 Day Fiancé episode where the lady was like, she was with a man and he refused to like go down on her or do anything on the knapsack. Mm. And so she brought a, a toy along and he was like, oh, like you don't think I'm enough. Um, like, you know, why do you need a toy? Yeah. Like I should be enough. And then some the, she said some comment like, you think the competition is between you and the toy. It's not, it's between you and a man who's happy to bring toys in to like satisfy ah. me. And so ever since then, I've been like, good advice. There you go. So yeah. now you've got it stocked up. You've got your giant trench coat. <laughs> you open it at either side. I'm not bold like, enough to <laughs> believe that a woman will be in my bedroom anytime soon. But <laughs> if I Are we have. doing the wand or the, the oh, rampant rabbit tonight? Just so you know, if I knew you were coming, I would have bought a rampant rabbit. And a <laughs> I wand. would have brought a wand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be it was not expecting no this. One's coming. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. No one's coming in any sense. Uh. Um, well, yeah, yeah, so would you? I think first of all, I would just be like, Dad, like, why are you going into my room and going through my stuff? Yeah. Like, that's a bit of a privacy violation. It's weird to go through not only stuff but a Is bin. She, are you sure it was her bin? He not, said he goes yes. through the old bins, not like the family bin. In the bin, the, the bin, bin mm, makes me think that's like true. Kitchen, big receptacle. Yeah. So, two. Th uh, if yeah, if she's do if you're putting your sex toys in the public family bin, <laughs> then, then it's, it's on you. It's on you. Yeah. Whereas if it's in your room and it's private, mm. you can say to her, "Look, you know, whatever you've seen." Look, bin sniffer. You know. stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I know you like bin sniffer. What do they, what do, they do? <laughs> you don't want to know. Depends how bold you are. It could just be really bold and just be like, "By the way, just make sure." You know, if you ever want to bin them, mm. the rabbits recycle all the wonders and <laughs> some the butt people, plugs. <laughs> oh god! Some people have like really open relationships with their parents, Ooh, where they relationships there. Which is like toys. <laughs> open no, relationship with, parents. with their parents, where they'll literally be like, "Oh, like I shagged They're someone last night." Other people. I am not like that. I can't. Are, are you like that? No. I, I can't imagine you are. Do, would you say to like your parents, like, "Oh, I shagged someone like last week." Hmm. Just lie to This them. is a hypothetical. <laughs> of course. I shagged someone last week. <laughs> like, okay. I think I could. My parents were like, why did you tell me that? <laughs> like, right, yeah. Ask how your day was. <laughs> yeah, yeah hey, I just mom, don't have that relationship with my parents. shagged a girl two weeks ago, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. I just don't have that relationship like, with my parents. Some people's parents like ask them about it. Like, how oh, do yeah. You know? like, yeah, no, how I think that's too Oh, I would have been like, mortified if yeah. I was like 15. Also, by the way, I've, I know for a fact some people are already in the comments like, Oh, you need to be way more open with your parents, and like, it's just different people. Yeah. Like, uh, some people think that is the way it should mm. be. 
like so many comments we did a weirdly there was a clip that went out about uh like anal or something <laughs> like, ah yes i remember it well the, the, like those are the comments were like <laughs> Like these guys, really, oh wait, yeah, like, what was really it? Being like, it's You're like, so right. It's, it's sort of like reverse kink shaming. Yeah. I, all I all I said was like, oh, I, I don't think I could personally have anything up my ass. Yeah. And then people <laughs> people be like, that's so normal these days. Why is he like turning his nose? It's like it's like the, it's like weird. Yeah, like, like forcing it. Mm. Like, so in the next like, episode, I will be inserting a butt plug <laughs> of George's ass <laughs> just to prove a point for all of those people out there. <laughs> yeah, people are, people were like. Take their people they talk, talk on, on sex very serious on the internet. Mm. People just get so mad. Do you not remember in one of our very first episodes where I made a joke about people wearing cock cages? Yeah. Who like have you heard about this chastity cages for men? You'll you'll be interested. You yes, like this, this is so stuff. you. Why would that? This, no, this no, screams you'll, you'll find, you'll find it interesting. <laughs> so it they literally like get like a metal cage and like put it over their penis so that they can't access it and like lock it like with a key. Yeah. Um, have you heard of like chastity belts for like women back in like the olden days? They would literally put a metal belt over like a princess or something and make her wear it. It had like a grid in it so she could wee through it. And then they would like take it off like once a week for like cleaning purposes. But like, this is like a medieval thing. But now they have cock cages for men. So that, like men or women that they're with can be like, you can't be with anybody that like, I own you. I I have the key, so like only blah blah blah. Wow. Small, and some people yeah. do it to train their penis to shrink over time into like a little nub. So if because wow. like something can only grow to like the capable like the space that it has to grow in, can't it? So like if you have a dog and, and it's supposed as to be much a big as dog. I wish it could grow bigger, <laughs> it's gone. I bought this huge house for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reverse chest as well? That trains it to grow bigger. <laughs> and like um, a goldfish that fills its tank. <laughs> grow bigger. And no. um, they literally like joke, get like. ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> they literally get ones that over time, like, so you'll have it, and then say if you got erect, it would reach the maximum that it can. It probably would really hurt. Like, imagine, yeah. like, yeah. but then over time, your penis. Wait, do you guys erect muscle. doesn't hurt anyway. <laughs> <laughs> do I get that check? Wait, do you guys not piss blood? What? Um, oh my god. Um, <laughs> um, how strong did I make your drink? I don't know. We've really gone into like an after oh, yeah, hours section uh, of the podcast. I don't know how it's got so weird. Uh, but yeah, so they've shrink it to like turn into like a little nubbin over time. So it's like deemed useless. It's like a third. As long as they're consenting, the I guess. Actually, yeah. I remember I studied a really interesting case in law about consent because mm. we obviously studied offenses against the person, mm-hmm. just sort of everything from physical violence, sexual violence, all that kind of stuff. And there was this, there was this case where it was a group of men who were sadomasochistic. Oh yeah. What so they sort of again? like whip each other, right. chain each other, like burn each other with this kind of stuff. Like, like and the, they get a thrill yeah, out of it. Yeah. And the police That's got involved. Episode, yeah. it? And it was like a real controversial political one because yeah. they were saying like, we're all consenting to this. Right. But the- But it's classed as but, abuse. Yeah, but the, the obviously judiciary or legislature were turning around and basically just said like, once it gets to a certain point, you can't consent to like right. grievous bodily harm. I forget yeah. years ago, but which is kind of weird mm. because they, yeah. they beforehand let a, an elderly couple off for branding each other with their initials. But then when, it, and so people were like, oh, is this an anti-gay thing? Yeah, is this a, right. a thing? But that's crazy. I imagine that probably would be one of those things where mm. even if you consent, it could be illegal just because if it does that much harm, like if it shrinks your dick. Yeah. I had, um, whisper it so no one hears. <laughs> shrinks your <laughs> so, I had a guy, um, in, when I was in my first year or second year of uni in Newcastle, I had a guy message me on Grinder who wanted me to come over and just stand on him. Like he would lie down and I would stand on him. And oh, he would, told, he was going to pay Steven me. This. Yeah, he was going to pay me like money, like a hundred quid to just come and stand on him for like 20 minutes. And he sent a reference picture of what he wanted me to do. <laughs> oh my God. I literally, I think I found it the other day. Let me find it. Like a floor plan, little blueprint. Sent like a full reference Labels, picture of like, me, do it like this. You. <laughs> what the hell? Let me find it. I swear to God, I found it the other day. But yeah. Um, and wow. then I was like, oh, and then he said, and if you have any friends, I'll happily pay them like a hundred pounds each if they want to come as well. Wow. And like, you can all just stand on me. And the reference picture was literally him on a couch on his side with like three boys just stood on him in shoes and everything just stood on him <laughs> like he's fully clothed like everything and he was gonna pay me and my friends all 100 pounds each i said like yeah i've got like six of my housemates here right now but then as we were all like getting ready to leave 
because we were going to do it. We were so broke. We were like, yeah, we'll go stand on a man for like 20 <laughs> minutes. And that's like, oh, what's that an hour? Like, I can't work out maths, but a lot of money. Uh, £300 an hour. That was really not odd maths. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> and yeah, but in the end, I ended up telling him, I was like, oh, my friends are girls, by the way. Is that an issue? And he was like, and he blocked me. And he was like, no, he only wanted boys to come and stand on wow. him. It's so funny. I'd love to like, un- like understand the yeah, science of how so many your brain pigs. goes from that well, to the... Mm. There works with pay pics where they're literally... Oh, they yeah. Hand the money I used to have one of those. Like I used to have one of those. Used to have a pay yes. When I was in uni, I would literally... I found this person on like Twitter or like from where my local thing was. And I would literally message them like, you dirty fucking bitch. Like, you fat, ugly fuck. Send me 20 quid now. I want to order a delivery. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> and they do it. When I when, <laughs> when I was a student in the first six months of my uni, I had one as well. Did you? And it was this random anonymous person. What, you? What, and you? It, it was, someone, someone was bro, It was nothing sexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no, was, it's nothing it, They sexual. literally were just like, hey, hey, like, if I send you 500 quid, can you just tell me, like, degrade it and say it's yeah. really embarrassing? And they sent yeah. you 500 quid. And I was like... That's so lame. Like that's nowhere near enough. And they were like, "You're not very good at this. Can you be meaner?" <laughs> and I was like, "That's a shit amount." And they were like, "Okay, I'll send you more." And then like they tried it again. They were like, "Sorry, mate, you're not cut out for this." <laughs> <laughs> Can't even be like rude and mean. Money. <laughs> Is that what we're saying? You five hundred bid to be mean? <laughs> they, yeah, to be like, oh, they, and all they wanted me to say was yeah. like, it's not enough, and they were like, and just tell me how you spend it. They do. They want you to be like, <laughs> literally. And I, I, I didn't have to send pictures to my feet. I don't have no, to be like, oh, there's <laughs> nothing sexual. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> auto <to> feet. <laughs> well, that's a, a kind of common one. I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah, there were these two boys that I knew when I was at uni and I found out, I thought that they were like in a relationship and then I found out, no, they have like joint pay pig accounts with each other where they have like Twitter accounts, like 5,000 followers <laughs> where they literally just tweet like, which one of you ugly fucks is going to send me this now? And they would show me, they would they could sometimes make like three, four thousand pounds a day That's from mad. people just I sending them money. Mad. Yeah. When I went to uh, Boardmasters. Um, oh yeah, you yeah, told I me. To- I told you this. I went to Boardmasters. You wouldn't have heard this because nobody watches the podcast. Um, <laughs> I, when, I, when I went to Boardmasters, there was this group of girls in like a tent that me and my mate, uh, Sam sings. Sam did not sing. Oh. Um, we like just mingled with them because we are fans, we should be sat around. So we just like, just by like, uh, preying with them and somehow pay pigs came up. Um, uh, as in, she was like, oh, I've got some, I think she was like, oh, I got some money through for my pay pig or something. And I was like, we were like, what was a pay pig? And basically a bloke used to send her money uh, to, for her to like degrade her, like to like degrade him and shit. But she'd degrade him after he sent a video of him doing some mental act which you would have never he basically got went into like an alleyway into like an industrial sized bin hopped in when it was full (laughs) hopped in when it was full completely naked and just started shagging the bin oh my word i mean i do i don't want to get caught up in the same like kink shaming thing (laughs) yeah yeah but it's when you hear this stuff for the first time it's like it could be needles or diseases yeah yeah yeah, that's kind of that is wild i just thought of the best idea ever me and you Shaggy should no. We oh. should try and get pay pigs, and whoever can get the most money by the next time that we see each other wins. And that we can give the you money. You just to want charity. an excuse to go out there and just milk the piggies, <laughs> don't you? And milk the piggies. <laughs> oh, what a horrible term. I mean, that's, that's such a good that's idea. Such a funny idea for a video, but also <laughs> it's just like. There's so many reasons. Yeah, true. That is very like, true. Yeah. It's, it's so not worth it. So many <laughs> yeah. That is very true. But imagine how much money you could raise for charity. We should have like <laughs> we should have like a charity like event where we all just sit there and like the get all the pay people. pigs. Yeah. That's oh such yeah, a good that's idea. the best way to make money for charity. Maybe wow. charity should have a division or a wing where they just get pay pigs in. Yeah. Like o- Oxfam should just have a division of 100%. women who just sit in there. They should be targeted. There should be people Actually, no, who not even there. women because the guys get it too. Yeah. yeah. And they get really like there's people that clearly have too much money mm. and want to spend it so charities get on that here i am yeah wow call me a dirty little non-charitable boy and i'll send you money right anyway um i think that you did amazing author thank oh, you very thank much you. i think that you offered sound advice thank you coming from a very um intellectual you, place you attacked the advice in the most professional manner we've ever seen on useless hotline indeed you almost like pitch this metaphorically you got that advice 
jumped onto it like a surfboard and <laughs> rolled that wave. Not cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Do you think that we give him the job? Um... We'll put it in pending. Yeah, we'll do a we'll do a hot or not video later, and if more people say hot, then yeah. If people say not, then unfortunately you won't get the job. We'll see. I appreciate um, the consideration. Yeah, just, just the way it be. I'm afraid. Yeah, but thank you very much. Do you have um? How which of your nine channels do you want to plug? <laughs> <laughs> not talking about your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Arthur nine TV reacts is the one that you can see me and Georgie do videos together. Oh, on, so. Georgie, <laughs> Georgie boy. <laughs> Uh, oh. But if you are watching and you enjoyed, give us a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you are notified every time that we post a video. If you are mm. listening, give us a five star rating, download us so you can listen to us on the go. Maxine? And if you would like it to <laughs> <laughs> And if you would like to send in a dilemma to our podcast, please do so via our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. And um, please Probably be wary so. that when you do um, call in, it's not a live call. So <laughs> sorry, Arthur. Uh, that is one of my favorite moments ever. Uh, please, we need to clip that because that was just <laughs> the, it, the genuine, like, you were so genuine in just saying, please stop. Why, why do you keep speaking? We can't hear you. Um, and if you would like to send in a written <laughs> dilemma, please do so by our email at the use uh, the podcast at gmail.com. And also check out that weird link. See what's there. Not the yeah. one in Arthur's bio. The one um, in our Although YouTube I heard description. You do get good discounts on toys over there. Yeah, <laughs> you do, baby. Um, and until next time, we've covered so much. I can't even think of a highlight from this episode. Go on, Arthur. What should, oh, what's what should, one what word? They, what should they comment down below? Oh yes, so tell them to su to summarize this episode if they've made it this far. Oh, don't put pressure on me at the end. <laughs> Any, anything that they can comment just to show they've got this far. Oh, mm. rabbit. Ah, okay. just the word just rabbit. Just the word rabbit, okay. No, no. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and until right. next time, baby, stay useless. I'm trying to work out an, an ending. I feel like that's awful, actually. I didn't like it. So um. <laughs> You're normally great in the end. <laughs> uh, uh, Andrew told me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>